Angie Fisher, and you're watching We Love Rare Grooves. I'm under new groove management tonight, yeah. boy. Yeah. Starting it live here in Living Color. Coming from to you from the studios of Los Angeles, California, on RMC On Air. This is the show that you wait for every week. We love rare grooves. Welcome our listening audience from all over the globe. Man, we got another exciting show for you tonight. I mean, we already gave you a head start on it, right? Yeah. You yeah. know how we do it? I'm your host here, C. Mose, and I got the team as we do it every week here on Monday nights on We Love Red Grooves, starting off with the extraordinary, world-famous DJ DeVoe. What's hey, happening, my hey. man? Excited about our guest this evening. Man, yes, we are. Yes, we yeah. are. How you been doing? You good? Good, brother. I'm good. I'm good, man. Hey, just break it down one minute for our... For our boy DJ Raz, man, just take a moment of silence for his dad. That's man. right. We're just gonna uh, do that, man. DJ Reg lost his uh, father uh, a couple of days ago, so uh, he won't be in this evening. But uh, we want to send uh, him and his family our condolences. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. But I know he wants us to keep it going, man. He said, "Keep it going." Yes, yes. Keep it going for him. Prayers out to the family. Huh? Yeah. I said, we can go keep it going with this one right here. I call it the ultimate kick to the curb song. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then we have Mr. Greg, New York Sneed, our producer extraordinaire. How you doing, my man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brooklyn's in the house. Brooklyn's here, baby. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're excited for tonight's show, and uh, we're going to bring it to you live and in color. As we do every Monday night. Yeah, that's right. So they can give us a call, you know, do your thing. 323-965-1600. That's 323-965-1600. Give us a call. Hey, you might have a chance to win something Uh-oh. tonight. Uh-oh. Win something. Yeah, there you, you go. know you do know here. Whoa. <laughs> and then we have the lovely co-host, Miss Shantani Irie. Hey. 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 <laughs> How you doing, my dear? I'm wonderful. You doing groovy on this groovy Monday I'm night? I'm groovy, groovy. So excited about our guest for tonight. You look excited. Put I some, am. You put some lipstick on. Right. Did she put lipstick on I tonight? I hope it stays <laughs> on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, please join us as we do every Monday night here on We Love Rare Grooves, brought to you by Beverly Boys, Beverly Boy Productions, and also Wings Limousine, where you ride like a star. They keep us going here. But without further ado, here on We Love Rare Grooves, we like Ooh-wee. to welcome. Ooh-wee. We like Ooh-wee. to welcome. Ooh-wee. This is one of our most sought after guests for the last year and a half, man, because I love this woman right here. And her yeah. music, man, takes me back. And she is here in the studio, man. She's been an incredible, incredible artist from the last two decades of great music. As you hear in the background, she's one of the giants in R&B, jazz singer, and I can add actress to her also, mm-hmm. man. She had a string of top 10 hits in the late 1980s and 90s and still bringing out great music today. I, without further ado, as we get into her music tonight, the one and only, the beautiful and talented, lovely Miss Mickey Howard. Hey! Mickey Howard, hey. how are you, my dear? Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. Hey, y'all. <laughs> you know that's true, though. We've been sought after for the last year and a half. Yeah, right? I, I really told you I was coming, though. I know you were. And here you are. Mm-hmm. You know how our story go with the young whippersnapper let you get away the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> he's like, who? Right, he's like, hey, so we're excited to have you on tonight. It's my pleasure. And you know, this week we're going to get right to it mm-hmm. for all your fans and listening audience, especially here in LA. You're going to be performing this Friday and Saturday at the Catalina Jazz Club in Hollywood. On Sunset. Mm-hmm. On Sunset. So. We'll be giving them more information. It's a really fun show. I love it. I love to perform there. It's like intimate and just really like old time feeling, you know? That's how it is. I mean, and and tonight, all we want to do is bring back the music because here on We Love Rare Grooves, we just trying to keep the R&B music alive. So we try to share the music over the years and not just the hits because they know all the string of number one hits but some of the songs that you did that may not have gotten released but they were still still <laughs> bad songs you know and then we just as we doing we love red groups we're gonna pull some things out from the vault i see oh my oh, god you got heavy leaking ah! You can't go tell nobody. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't tell nobody. Yeah, we just, uh, you got surprised. See how we do it? Mm. Oh, See, my God. Know, you got I'm, my favorite. How you know these are my favorite? I told you. Girl, okay. Hey. 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 That's what we do. That's how what we do. we do. We just ain't want you to come here just to come down. We want oh, to my share, goodness. We want to share that musical experience mm-hmm. that you had to start it out in uh, Chi-Town, right? Yeah. I'm from Chicago. But my musical career actually started in Los Angeles with the group Side Effect. Mm-hmm. Right, and that we got a couple of those songs. So we're we, we going to come back and start some conversation about all that. But we're going to get into the show, get into the music, have some people call up, and then we're going to do a great conversation with you. Okay, great. So as we do on We Love Red Grooves, DJ DeVoe, Greg, y'all want to take us away? What you got for us? Man, we got something real, real old school, a, a rare groove we're going to slide right Ooh, in on. Ooh, it's a hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the dusty of the week, though. No. <laughs> Get to my loop. 
a crazy game Two people vow to stay In love as one they say But all is changed with time The future none can see Lies mystery But all is fair in love I had to go away A writer takes his pen To write the words again Oh All of fates a chance It's either good or bad I toss my coin to stay In love with me you'd stay
it all in love's hand A writer takes his pen Write the word again It all in love is fair Side effect, Mickey. Yeah. yeah. Good old side effect. Yes. Man. I love this song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> midnight Lover, huh? Okay. What is it, 79 or 80? Man, this is how. Hey, how did Side Effect end up finding you? Wow. It's a, um, I, I was singing at a, a church function. It was a Miss Black Rose beauty pageant, which I was not old enough to be in the pageant, so I was in an entertainment, which I was 16 years old. You were singing mm -hmm. in the pageant? Yeah. Okay. And they, and, and they heard your voice and said, we gotta get her. Yeah, because they were deciding... Uh, they always had different lead singers, and they were great, great, great singers. So I had some big shoes to fill. But <laughs> Sylvia, Hel Helen Lowe, and I came in after Sylvia St. James. Okay. Mm. And, and we reached back tonight. Now, the first song that we had, uh, I Can't Play. Did you write that? I wrote that. Uh -huh. I wrote this, too. Right. What, what was the inspiration behind that? I was, I was, I was being molested. No. <laughs> <laughs> And you can't play. I can't play. I no. Well, that's true. No, you know, just a teenager that. think you're in love. You know, I love you. You know, you have to love me back. That kind of thing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Kiss it's me. A little there. love game. Kiss me. There, I kiss kiss you me. Back. Yeah, I kiss you back a lot of times. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned um, doing a church function, and for those of you who don't, who may not know, her mother was um, a huge in the gospel industry with the caravans who are like legends in the gospel world. Her father was as well. Can you talk about how that influenced you to get I'm listening to this thing. Gosh, I sound more like my mother than I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I sound like my mom a lot. I was listening to her the other night. Uh, we were out and I had a couple of cocktails. You know, you get cocktails, you'd be like, 
just want to play music and I'm like crying on the kitchen counter. Oh, oh, oh man. my god, she's an amazing singer, Josephine Howard, and my father Clay Graham, who's still around and still he's like 85 and he's still singing, doing his thing. So oh, shout god. out to Clay Graham and Cleve Graham. <laughs> the Pilgrim Jubilees and the Caravan. Is he here right. in L.A. or in Chicago? No, he's in Chicago. Uh, mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. how was it like growing up around James Cleveland? It's an amazing that? experience. It's it's often difficult to talk about because, you know, as the, as the time has gone on, we've become uh, more astute to what the, the bad things that were going on, you know, the sexual promiscuity, you know, these things. But um, as far as a musical base, I mean, I couldn't have had a better uh mm-hmm place to grow and you know James Cleveland was awesome and everybody that came out of his church was awesome I mean you you I, you would see his musicians you know uh, playing with Tina Turner and you know uh, like the Pointer Sisters would be at church Melvin Moore would come I mean, whoever came in town at that time uh, all the black artists came to James Cleveland church you know you might see anybody oh my god uh, um, uh, uh, Sammy Davis Jr.'s um, cook mm-hmm. was was my mom's good friend and she went to the church and she would take me over his house Sammy Davis Jr.'s house wow. so I just had a great great upbringing in terms of entertainment mm-hmm. being in the entertainment industry I mean there was nobody everybody came from you know church because mm-hmm. back then you know we were sort of separate you know, and yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't even in when I first started singing, making records by myself. There was still a divide between pop music and, and urban music. So we were divided not only on the radio, but actually in physical beings. So we stayed in the same neighborhoods, or you stayed at each other's homes, or things like that. So uh, consequently, we everybody knew each other. Wow. Yeah, even the, the song now, the the bed, um, love under new management has a mm-hmm. gospel. You know, mm-hmm. feel to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, due to Ray Charles and uh, Aretha Franklin bringing that sound into the market and being successful, um, we were. I was able to draw on that from them. You know, I grew up listening to Aretha Franklin, listening to her dad preach. You know. Uh, and and I I wanted to sound like that, and I even wanted to be an evangelist at one time, until I I just couldn't we can't reconcile the sin and the saint I couldn't fix it. <laughs> I'm about to say it's never too late. <laughs> you know, I, I mean you know now I'm too old to sin. If I sin, I'm I'm woke past 11:30. I'm not sinning. <laughs> exactly. Sin to me is hogging eyes ice cream. I'm just yeah. saying. <laughs> You know, you get you get too old to be doing all the stuff that you want to kill yourself for. You, God gonna burn you in hell. <laughs> you know, if well, you live past it, he's still yeah. gonna burn me. I ain't even doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so I couldn't I couldn't get that together. So it, this was the best thing. You know, this thing about love in the gospel field was so amazing to me. I just wanted to be like that. Mm-hmm. So with side effect, how was it when you first when they picked you and you first were you how were you excited? How I was, was 16 years old. I was very excited, extremely thrilled. I was like, I'm everything, honey. What year was that? I was 16 years old. And <laughs> uh, <laughs> good answer. You gonna, leave it, you gonna leave it right there? I mean, you know, because yeah. my father took side effect and did a bunch of schools with them. Back oh, yeah? The Which year was that? That's what I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah. I'd actually brought a picture. I mean, let me tell you something about side effect and Augie Johnson. They, they were, we were always down for the cause. Yeah. Anything, they can open a letter if it was in the black community and it made them give a positive image. We were there. We, Augie always did that and we would get mad because we're not getting paid or something. Uh-huh. You know, but it was important to him and, it, and, and I understand it more now and uh, it was it was instilled in me coming up as a young singer so yeah, we support each other that's yes. right because I was wondering if you were in the group when they did the tours throughout the school so yes uh, okay yes. And my father was the one that was Dion that was promoting all those uh Okay. With Augie, so. Dion sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah, my father. So yeah. Tell him I said, hey, is he still alive? No, actually, he passed five years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I, I actually got pictures of you guys out on. on Was I on the pitch? I think I believe so. What you What you saying? Hey, I got pictures on you. <laughs> you can't tell if it was me. <laughs> what you say? Well, I got a look. I got a look. I got a bunch of. Uh, I know. I remember. From the 70s. Yes, yeah. yeah, I understand. That's yeah. right. So it, yeah, they were really, really a community active group. That's right. Yeah. And one of the songs we played earlier, I guess we were trying to say some of your early influences, but 
Uh, you named something, but we played. What was that song by Nancy Wilson? All we played. Of love is fair. Oh, that's fair. I mean, man, I can sing it backwards. <laughs> I used to listen to that and um, so many Nancy Wilson songs, and certainly she's one of my favorites. And that's. That's why we reached back. I knew it was. And then I see some other stuff. I'm like, I'm, 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 we can uh, have some fun tonight. It's all good. We're, we're gonna bring it back. Now, to who's you. singing the vocals on this? Are you doing all your own vocals? on I this? wish I could. No, these are these are some amazing singers. Uh, the the girl from uh, Atlantic Star is singing. We have a wonderful soprano, Liz Hogue, who also had many CDs of her own. Amazing singer. Uh, two of those singers are, are passed away, died from HIV/AIDS. Oh, wow. uh, Spencer Harrison, who was an amazing singer um and there's one more great 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 singer sharon sharon bryant oh, oh. Right. so this this group of singers where they were like they were on it was like i remember when i heard the show i was like how am i supposed to sing on this i can't sing like this what these people say they are killing it and it's just and when we do it live and try to get you know um background singers and the further we get away from the time period this time it's harder to find singers that can, <laughs> right. that that can sing true. this you know they, they sing it flat and everything you're like oh my god what are you and they're learning from the radio like when I learned from the radio I was learning from Retha Franklin right. Nancy Wilson you know Nina Simone and they were actually playing these people on the radio these kids are learning from Mary J. Blige and I ain't saying Rihanna, nothing bad. Rihanna. I'm just saying they're different kind of singers. They're not. Mm -hmm. They're not um, Musi musicians. Singers. True to pitch singers, and you don't have to be to be successful or to be a great, you know, entertainer. Well, the ears have but been But in order back. to sing like this, mm -hmm. you have to be a true to pitch singer. You have to be a consummate professional. You have to be a person that works on your craft and not just on the feeling. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it's like weird to find singers. It's hard. Yeah, the ears have been dumbed down of the yeah, public. Yeah, that's true. It's a, it's a travesty. Oh, you know. it, is. it is. We, we talk Especially about, us. nowadays, they're talking about all of this, you know, stuff, and Beyonce came out on the field. Let me tell you, first of all, I didn't even recognize that that was the Black Panther because we had to wear pants. And second of all, I was like, our culture is so, we we have no culture anymore, really. It's like, what is our culture? When you say a black woman, everybody thinks we're going to twerk. We're going to talk crazy. We're going to do our neck. You know, it's like horrible Yeah. what they think our culture is. Queen, yeah. We ain't got to be a queen. We can just have a culture where we raise our children properly, where we breastfeed our babies, where we do things that we're supposed to do, which we do. But the only thing that's being exemplified is that we shake our ass. Now, I wish I could twerk. <laughs> <laughs> I saw uh, Amber Rose twerking, and I was in the mirror, child. I was like, how's she doing? <laughs> I like the bro. She's a pro. I mean, man, <laughs> no, that, I that's, what's that's what's good. That, that, that's what's good. If, if I can get thirty thousand dollars for appearance just to twerk, mm. I'm trying, <laughs> but I can't. I can't. You know, and and it's a, it's a trip to me that you know the culture is so it's Diluted, so distilled. Down, it's distilled. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. As we do here on We Love Red Grooves, it's only here you're gonna get great conversation, great music. Brought to you down by and Beverly the real deal. Boy. Product the real you're gonna get, deal. You're gonna the get the real, real the deal. real groove deal. Cause we done heard some stories on We Love Fair right. Groove. <laughs> so hey, you hear I got a movie? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna get to it. I, got I didn't it. see it on the list. No, no, oh, I, no, get it, I get got, it. I got <laughs> you on right. the list. There's two lists right here. We got the song list and we got the question list. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Aha. Aha. This ain't our first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brought to you by Beverly Boyd's Production. Beverly Boyd Productions, with offices in Los Angeles and Miami.
Beverly Boys Productions for all your video and production needs. They are a sponsor of We Love Red Grooves. Get L. Beverly of Beverly Boys Production a call today if you're going to get that, that fine video production. Matter of fact, you may want to use them on your next one. I ain't doing no video. You ain't doing no, I thought Ooh. we were just talking about twerking. That's a movie. Oh, no, no, no. Twerking is for the house. <laughs> I'm trying to twerk so I can, you know, be cute in my lingerie and be like, twerk. <laughs> hey, thank you for listening to us here at We Love Red Groove. Give us a call. 323-965-1600. And we're streaming on Ustream. And you can check out the uh, rebroadcast of our show on uh, YouTube. 323-965-1600. As we continue the show with the lovely, legendary Mickey Howard. Yay! And she'll be performing <laughs> this week at the Catalina Bar and Grill, February 26th and 27th here in Hollywood. At the Cal- fabulous. Fabulous Catalina Bar and Grill. Get your tickets now.
this and I would have that. But what we were really doing was missing the whole point. As I was doing, I was told, Son, if you don't wake up, you're going to miss the boat. And this would be what happened to me a lot of our lives. Sometimes we fail to ask ourselves. time to go through life always putting things on instead of really bearing down and working diligently and to bring the best of us out. You know, this is a brand new day. Each and every morning that you open your eyes is the beginning of the rest of your life. So sometimes when Trouble seems to get us down. And life really seems too hard to bear. Yeah. And we must pick ourselves up and ask ourselves that question again. Do you really have time to waste our life?
sounds of Miss Mickey Howard. The Catalina Jazz Club presents an evening of music and songs with Miss Mickey Howard for two shows. That's this Friday, Saturday, um, the 26th and the 27th of February. Miss ha- Mickey Howard is, she's known for such hits as Love Under New Management, Come Share My Love, Imagination, and Baby Be Mine. She's been nominated for a Grammy and an American Music Award for Best R&B Female Vocalist. The Catalina Jazz Club is located at 6725 Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Tickets are on sale for $25. You can purchase them online at CatalinaJazzClub.com. There's a mandatory two-drink minimum or you can have dinner. For more information, call 323-466-2210. That's 323-466-2210. Seating is on a first-come, first-serve basis, so get there early. And seats are limited, so come and enjoy the evening with Mickey Howard and share the love. Yes, yes. Catalina. Hey, 
I can come, can we live Red Grooves team come introduce you on, on Friday? That's not my club. <laughs> <laughs> we just rolling up then. We rolling up. Tell Manny we coming in. You call Manny and tell him. That we gonna I'll stop by, I'll stop by, I'll stop by there earlier and I'll tell him, I was like, they're going to come by and introduce me, man. And he gonna be up. So he's like, I, but you know, I gotta wear my you know, white shirt. You know, he's what he gonna do? He gonna do, he's gonna do it again. After he <laughs> hey, don't give him any warning. Just step up up there. You right. know, just we, come I, on I up. Just come on up there. I'm coming happen. up with the team. It's gonna take him at least 20 minutes. <laughs> to, you know, to, to get security. So he that's, is that's security. True. Don't even play with Manny now. Yeah. Don't play with honey. You think them, those uh, waiters are are waiters, but they really security. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Mm -hmm. Welcome to We Love Rare Grooves. Give us a call at 323-965-1600. Streaming live on rmconair.com. And I said it that quick and we got a call? We got a call and Mickey said, right. it's probably my daughter, KK. <laughs> <laughs> Who do we have on the line? Welcome to We Love Rare Grooves. Who do you have on the line? Hello? Hello. Hello. Hey. hey. Hey, this is Lynn King holding it down for the A all the way in Atlanta. How you guys doing? Chill, tonight? huh? Hey, hey Atlanta. Atlanta. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, we doing good in Atlanta. It's a rainy night, but it's still all good on Rare Groove. Rainy night in Georgia. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a rainy night in Georgia, but it is all good, though. I had to call in. This is my girl, Mickey Howard. I could not miss this at all, so I definitely had to stay awake. Because you know it is late night East Coast time. We know. Yeah. So I, had to, I had to stay away from my girl, Mickey Howard, though. She put me down tonight. So I had to stay awake. And, um, you know, since she on the air representing tonight, too bad I won't be out in L.A. when she's, um, uh, uh, what, in concert coming up later uh, this week. Saturday and Friday. Friday and Saturday. Yeah, Jazz but hopefully you'll be coming to the A sometime soon. Right, Mickey? I right? usually right? do. I usually do. I haven't been in two years, though, but I'm going to come. All right, now. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to come on back and, you know, so we can show you some, some Southern love here because uh, you, are, you are certainly missed. You are an amazing talent. And, um, you know, what you said earlier about you know, the vocals being different now. Honey, you spoke a word right there. There <laughs> is a difference in the time when when we grew up and the artists of today, that mm. pop sound, you know. I, it's don't get me wrong it, now. There's some girls that's putting it down, you know, all the way from oh. Fantasia, and, mm -hmm. you know, of course, Beyonce, and then... Uh, it's that other child. I can't. Every time she sing, I start crying. Jill Jasmine Scott? Sullivan. Jasmine Sullivan is amazing. Right. Oh, but, yeah. they but see, they don't get the. the Aside the, the from Beyonce, they, they don't get the same. Sing. Yeah. No, they don't get the love because mm -hmm. we don't have a culture anymore. Right. <laughs> and, and our uh, our chitlin circuit is gone and chitlins, the power, the structure, everything. Chitlins, right. chitlins, we're not even allowed to say chitlins, first of all. <laughs> and <laughs> and, 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 and chitlins is high as hell. You ever try? And oxtails. Uh, well, uh, Shoot. Uh, that, that's for our food show. I appreciate that. That's for the food show. That's for the food <laughs> the network. Network. Look, all, but, the, all the scraps now is considered like, like high you know, delicacies uh, now. Really, you know? there's nowhere to perform almost. You know? That's what I'm, so, speaking of that, before we hang up, thank you, Colin. Thank Len. you, Leanne. Hey, but maybe we'll get her down at Wolf Creek. Is that the place, right? Wolf that, Creek. That's the spot. That's, that's the where spot. you need to come. Okay. But Mickey, we saw you on um, on uh, on um, Unsung, and um, it was awesome. And mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm hoping that things have um, really smoothed out for you guys. And I um, hope your son, your son is doing, your uh, your kids are doing well as, uh, also. Thank you. And um, ho hopefully, they're making their mark in this uh, industry. Yeah, and, they're all um, doing, and doing their thing. Well. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you, you've that. Been, you've been through a lot, honey, so keep on doing your thing. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn, for calling. And, you know, what's your favorite station, right? Your favorite Red. show. Hey, I know I love Red Groove. There we go. <laughs> we love you. Lynn from Hot Atlanta. We Thanks love so you. much for calling Thanks in. Thanks for calling. Have a great evening. So as we Mickey, on. you got them up past their bedtime. Oh, I know. You should have been in the bed coast, an hour and a half ago. I'm so happy that so, I'm worth it. Right, all over the globe as we continue mm -hmm. the show here on We Love Red Groove, streaming live on rmconair.com with the lovely Mickey Howard. We can right get into some new, some some well, more I'm, smooth music. I think music. I'm going to do this this weekend. You going to do this yeah. this weekend? Yeah, you're going to kill him with this one. You going to kill him? 
Yeah, like, I mean, you know, I'm okay. going to do the best I can. DJ DeVoe and the producer Greg Sneed and Shanta Niari, we're bringing you We Love Red Grooves all the way through the airways. Man, hey, did you see how I went into that? This is a good one to do, yeah. You know the bloomy side. Good morning, hearty. Thought we said goodbye last night. I tossed and turned until it seemed you had gone But here you are with the dawn I wish I'd forget you But you're here to stay It seems I met you when my love went away Now every day I start by Saying to you Good morning, honey What's new? Stop Southern trees bear a strange fruit, blood on the leaves, 
and blood at the root. Black bodies swinging in the southern breeze. Strange fruit hanging from the poplar tree. In paradise 
with you Hear that voice? Like you said yeah. earlier. I mean, I'm going to start crying. These are the people that I grew up listening to, you know? Mm-hmm. This, he was an inspiration for Nancy Wilson. She, That's right. She copped her style from him. Mm-hmm. Little Jimmy Scott. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. My mother used to play it all the time. When Did You Leave Heaven? Yep. Yeah, we played that. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a classic. It's amazing, though, uh, um, that our culture is just being snatched from us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, but that's why we're doing shows like this now. Who else to better tell our stories than us? That's why we have I'm guests here. like you. That's why, we, that's why we have guests like you. But 100 that, years from now, that YouTube video might, might be altered. <laughs> right. Hey. You know, they they did that with that that uh, that old book, too, you know. Yeah. yeah they but, they changed know, the way how he looked. We, we'll let them... <laughs> We'll, but, deal, we'll deal with that when it comes, right, right? right? But right now, we, we're storing the history. Yeah, exactly. We're storing the history. We're storing the history here right now, telling the truth, like you said, Mickey. Uh, while we've been off camera, like yes, this is how our culture should be, and we let we want to leave it here and tell our story. Right, and that's, and that's what that's we how, do, and that's how we're doing it that's here. How we on do. we exactly. love Red Bruce. Exactly. So, wh- how, what did we come in with, Miss Howard? We started off with what? That was a great song by you. Heartache. Good morning, Hardy. Oh, on this set, yeah. Yeah, yeah this set. Yes, we had Joe Sample playing the um, keyboards. Joe mm-hmm. oh, Sample. Yeah, and Rhett Lawrence. It was a big trip because Rhett was like a young white guy, and Joe Sample was an older uh, black dude. It was just the blending of all those two things. It was really exciting to record that. And then, then tell the story about um, the experience you had with Abby Lincoln. And, and this Billy Yeah, well, well, Abby Lincoln is my absolute favorite. I consider her my musical mother, her and, and Billy Holiday. So uh, my son came in town and he's like, I'm going to take you, mom. I got to take you to see Abby Lincoln at the Blue Note. And I was like so excited and I we went in down there and we saw the show. And, and after the show, I went upstairs to go to her dressing room and she hadn't gotten in there yet or she stopped at the restroom or something. So I'm standing in the doorway. And, and um, she comes to come in and she just stops in her tracks and she just goes, oh my God, I know you. You, 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 you remind me of my sister, Billy. 
Billy Holiday, you just look, you just like her. I feel her on you, all of this stuff. I was like, I was wow, so like, wow. she didn't know who I was. She didn't know that I sang or anything. And she pulled me into her dressing room, and we just had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. I have a picture of that night. It was the best night ever because it, it sort of was just like, she said, you're one of us. That's what she said. She said, you're one of us. Yeah, she, she wow. didn't know you, but she knew you. Yeah, that was so good. Yeah? It was good. Kindred souls. Come on now. Mm-hmm. That was Strange Fruit. Mm-hmm. See, that's, that was the song, Strange Fruit. See how all that... Oh, I, I'm, I feel I've been endowed by both of them to, to finish the work that they started. That's right. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited. I'm happy to do it. Awesome. So, uh, shout to you. So... What would be something about you that we'd be surprised to know? I crochet like a bandit. Oh! Like blankets and stuff and sweaters? No, I can't crochet a blanket. I crochet things for people to wear. Like, like a hat? Hats, skirts, really? like, you know, stuff for the, my son, hey. my grandsons, and, you know, sweaters. We love rare groove beanies. Oh, I ain't gonna do it. By Mickey Howard. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Underwear. <Why? laughs> Underwear. I might get to, I might make you each one separately, but it ain't gonna be nothing like you can... Mass producing. You know huh? what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> that would be process. No, that's not good. Okay. Yeah. Name someone that you would like to perform with that you haven't had a chance to perform with yet. Kendrick Lamar. Oh, yeah. okay. She said he killed it too. at the Grammys. Uh, yeah. we gonna, I saw we, him do. We're we going to be all right. I saw him on another show. I, I don't know if it was Ellen or something. I don't know. But he his, he, he did his show. It, it made me cry on TV. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was before the Grammys. I didn't even see the Grammy performance. I can't watch the Grammys. It's too insulting. Mm. It's yeah. insulting. Yeah. If they continue to insult us and we continue to support them, it's our fault. So Grammys don't mean anything to me anymore. It never. I got nominated, you know, but it, they put me way in the nosebleed section. They were so disrespectful and rude to me, the OJs, all of us. We were up in the nosebleed. You know, it was yeah. insane. Yeah. Won the year that you. Gladys Knight. Oh, okay. And that's not fair to be put up against the people that you've been listening to and working with all your life. I, we, come on. That's the only category we could be mm-hmm. recognized in was traditional R&B. Mm-hmm. And when we win, we like, we won a Grammy! And uh, kiss my ass. There you go. Come on now. Tell it. Ah, I mean, really, tell it. It's not fair. It's music. not right. And oh, we all sit around and we cry and we moan about it. What we should be doing is perpetuating our craft, our gift, and our culture. And having our mm-hmm. own show and tightening right. it up. And actually going to the and, and listening to our stuff right. and going to see each. But we are now because they, we, we're we don't such have a choice drop. now. I live in Newark, New Jersey, and it's like a whole new thing. And uh, unbelievable to me is that there's no music. There's almost no place we can just go and hear a band, and that's where it started. Yeah. Okay? Sarah Vaughn is from Newark. I mean, so many of our great artists are from, and we cannot hear music. I say, you well, can't go down the well, street open up and the Mickey Howard Club. We need money. That's what that's what killing our culture does. It keeps our pockets empty. So we have no say so in anything. Yeah. We are relegated to do the things that are are beneficial for us in terms of eating, sleeping, drinking, and putting our kids through college. That's and mm. and that's why and we, we gotta be. You know, our we've own talked about that. Right. Yeah, we've talked about that. Mm-hmm. But um, that's why we got to start passing down our financial. Well, we got to come home. home. Right. We ain't got no yeah. financial nothing. The, we give it to church. We're so and quick church, to sell it. And church right. give it to the government. And, and, and there it goes. How many billion of dollars a year did church give to the government? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. never give back. If you go to your church right now and say, I'm hungry, are they going to feed you? No, they're not. And they got a they VIP should. section. No, on no, Saturday they serious. will. On Saturday no, but I'm they telling will. you. They should. This, what happened to the benevolent ministries? I don't right. mean anything, and it's not my business, but I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. You, we we got to be, you know, serious mm-hmm. and, you know, about where we put our money, where we put our faith, where we put right. our heart, and where we get our entertainment. You and if we continuously, right. if, 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 what's the child came from overseas? Who? Hello, Adele. Adele. Oh, Adele. Adele is a contralto in any choir on, Anywhere. on Crenshaw. That's right. right. Any you pull any contralto alto out of the choir, they can sing like Adele. You right. Okay. And and then you have like all of us artists who've been doing this for years. Even Aretha was upset about it. Now you, they'll tell artists right now today, you cannot sell a million records. Yeah. But Adele right can come from across the country, across the a water. 
and sell and sell records singing like any contra- any alto in the in the in the children's choir. See, Mickey children's Mickey choir. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See after this, Mickey, I'm you not know the Mickey, after this, I'm not going Ooh. to a show. No, no, As hey. we continue with, we love red grooves with no, great music. We and love great- it. And that's what we do. Fair for that to be all. Well, really quick, talk about your movie. Oh, I got a movie. Hey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, it's uh, coming out on TV One. Uh, I'm very excited and thrilled because I get to be a part of history. This is our first, you know, our first years of having black networks that mm-hmm. are actually doing things and doing black things. And I, we love every every culture, Chinese, Japanese, everything. But we need it's our turn to to express who and what we are. And so I love TV One for doing this um, Mickey Howard story. Um, it's, it's a great movie. It stars Tiana Paris. She's a fabulous young actress, and she's just doing great. We've got Gary Dordan and uh, um, Darius McQuarrie gets to play uh, Gerald Avert character. Oh, okay. Just a great, it's going to be really a great film, and it's a true story. I told the truth. So. That's good, so it's going to be your biopic. Yeah, it is. It's a biopic. All right. Mm-hmm. How I'm excited. exciting. It's so great. cute. Let's That's go. Good. That's huge. It is, and I'm look forward to it too. When they're gonna do a premiere, honey, we gonna do everything. Okay, I'm, I'm <laughs> right there. It, it comes out, out so in June, do... June, right. June twentieth. Okay. So y'all gonna have a hot summer. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, you know I'm, a, you know I'm your bodyguard for the movie. That night. No, 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 that's you know, no. Watch out now. Watch out now. That's the only way I can get in. Watch out now. You know. Or as, we continue, as we continue with the show, We Love Red Grooves, as we'll go into our next commercial with Wings Limousine, where you ride, ride like, like a star. star. Can you sleep in the car? <laughs> <laughs> Can you sleep in the car? We got to add that in the end. <laughs> All right, while we do that, uh, join the National Sales Network Los Angeles chapter for their annual 11th annual State of the Organization. It's a jazz brunch being held this Saturday, February 27th, at the La Remedian Delfina Hotel in Santa Monica, California. This year's keynote speaker will be the highly acclaimed author, sales trainer, and motivational speaker, the dynamic Donna St. Louis. Entertainment is going to be provided by jazz legend, Mr. Ronnie Laws. Tickets can be purchased online at nsnla.org. That's nsnla.org. Or contact National Sales Network at 310-901-901. Got too many numbers here. One, three, two, oh, three, huh? <laughs> What's that number? Harold. 9203. Okay, 310-901-9203. Tickets are limited for this event. Early registration is required. NSN is a nonprofit organization and the premier organization of choice for the sales professional, manager, and entrepreneur all across the globe. Brought to you by Toyota USA, Medtronic, and Johnson & Johnson. Stay connected to the network at nsnla.org. Welcome to Wings Limousine, where we get it right on the first time and create the magic in your night. The owner of Wings Limousine, Deborah Leggins, established her company of solid principles. Bring service with a smile and laughter. I drive people around from girls' night out, weddings, airport pickups, quinceaneras, you name it, that's what I do. She has received several awards from the Better Business Bureau, from the mayor's office, as well as the governor. She has courted several celebrities to red carpet events and has served as the official transportation company of the Sparks and the Clippers. Beyond Wings' fleet of luxury cars, Wings also has special party buses to Vegas or a more intimate ride using our one-of-a-kind Mercedes Sprinter. And if your company wants to brand their name on our vehicles, we also offer wrapping. Remember just one, the name you can trust for superior service. Wings Limousine. Call now for reservations. Just once. Go ahead and no, man, we are, I'm waiting for somebody to do it. <laughs> How'd you get you him missed there? Our cue on it. I usually we, do it all the time. We, I wasn't listening at that time. Sorry. Uh, your, that's your job, though. That's you, your you, job. I mean, you're on your job. I can sing so, other songs. Just, just go ahead and do it one time. Go ahead. All right, three lashes after the show. Here we go. Three lashes? Just yeah. do it anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what? Four lashes now. <laughs> Not four. As we continue on the show, we love Red Group. Give us a call at 323-965-1600. Next caller can win some tickets to see Mickey this weekend, right? Mickey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not at the Catalina, just to see you her, know right? Manny, right? I know Maddie. Okay, don't be trying to get <laughs> get you caught up, huh? Oh, I'll, I'll take Maddie care. We'll take care. We'll take care, man. We'll take care, man. We giving Manny free 
props. Manny you said, don't need you said a tickets nothing. to see her. You right. didn't say after like, Catalina. Manny can right. pay I said tickets to see her, right? right? He just don't care. I'll he, take care of Manny. He should coming out the house right now. <laughs> I'll take care of Manny. Do we need to give a ticket away, though? Nah. Yeah, we, oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll next call her. <laughs> if we get on the show, don't keep them on hold till after the show. We're going to try to give them the tickets there tonight. Okay, Whippersnapper. As we continue on, Greg. Coming up now, we have our Dusty of the Week. Brought to you by... <laughs> hold on one more time. <laughs> uh, <our> dusty. <laughs> the Dusty of the Week. Yeah. Brought to you by nobody. Nobody. Okay. So, uh, t- so tonight's Dusty is absolutely free of charge. Yes. For everybody. So we have the choice for one of my favorite songs, "And Angels Don't Fly Away." Yeah, that was our Dusty of the Week and uh, the choice for Angels Don't Fly Away. And uh, we're going to finish. Huh? 
that was definitely oh, one of those in the basement. The basement, game. yeah. Oh, I was telling Shantanu she ain't never got grind on before on mm-hmm. the blue lights in the basement. Nah. Mm-hmm. No. You keep thinking that. And no basements out here either. I, I won't do that to you, Miss Howard. I, I know you know about blue lights, though. Yeah. I do. Blue lights, oh, red lights. Those, right. So you know about those blue lights. Yeah. Black lights. But take us, take us away from what we got getting ready to come on. What's the next song? This song like is to off my Grammy nominated album. Um, it's called Meant to Be, produced by Mr. Darius McCrary. Hey. Oh. Oh. Nothing like the B side of the record. Review. Man, that's a bad song right there. Meant to be. And you said Darius the, McCray? Yeah. Is that? Yeah, that's a nice song. Some, you done work with some great, great people over here. Today. I really have. I'm, I'm so privileged. I mean, some great people. And, and still got some good things coming on. You, you know you got to come back because we... There's some things that we didn't even get through. We didn't get to the Panther this time with Too Short. You know, you know what I mean? Ooh. The Panther Live. So 
the time just goes by. I mean, you see it was on here. Mm -hmm. So we kind of hold back on songs just so you can come back. Well, I mean, it's been a long career. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we didn't touch base on a lot of it. So, hey, this is your home now. I'm sure you've been to other shows, but this is your home now with We Love Red. Green. I sure Welcome appreciate you. I really, I really appreciate you. I do. I mean, we've been looking to get you on here and man I'm, I'm excited because I loved you as an artist during the 80s and 90s you were my favorite during that time that's right and to sit here in the studios with you right now girl I might not be smiling cheese, but on the inside I'm feeling you, right we feel chewy know, on the inside we feel real <laughs> chewy on the it's true he's been talking about you he's like man he was excited I'm so glad I'm, I really appreciate it wonderful so now top five your top five musical influences of all time Musical influencer. I, I mean, I have to narrow them down because it's like music, and then there's singing, and then there's well, singing. Yeah. Okay. I, I my mom, Shirley Caesar, uh, Abby Lincoln, Millie Holiday, little Jimmy Scott. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. See, see, see heavyweights. Heavyweights. Rattle that off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Now, how we, can we stay in touch with you as far as social media, Facebook, Instagram? Mickey that on um, Instagram. M I K I T H A T. Uh, I really don't do my Twitter much, but it's Mickey Howard Live on Twitter, and then it's Mickey Howard, uh, about 6,000 pages on uh, Facebook. <laughs> but I'm the one with the white hat. I mean. Right, we got you on that Facebook. I mean, you, I can't. But then, like, so many people make pages for me, man. Oh, that's do good, I, like fan I, pages. Yeah. But I really do operate one. I mean, I talk to people all the time, I talk to you. I know, but you still ain't accept me as a friend. I can't. No one accepts <laughs> him. He's, I know. He stalks. I, I He's a Facebook get... stalker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it works. We get guests. Hey, that's true. <laughs> but we were talking about earlier. You were at the Grammys and the OJs. Mm. They had y'all in the back. In the, in the, in the back. Music. Yeah. And didn't even give an award yeah. or nothing. No, we were nominated and uh, we were, I mean, we were so far up. And Bootsy was sitting there. All the black artists, like we, the ones that we grew up listening to, you know, right. we were all sitting up in the nosebleed section way far. We couldn't see. And we was, it was so, it, it was, it was pain. So, it so, was hurtful. It was embarrassing. And and so was, they must knew they weren't going to give you an award, too. No, but the, we don't count. Right. But you know what? You count on We Love Red Green. That's right. Though. That's right. For, for the music that you yeah, that's put why together. I, ain't trying to, I mean, you know. I see. Everything you've done over your career, from the team here on We Love Red Green, DJ DeVoe, Greg, Shantani. Oh, 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 This is the We Love Red Green uh, Grammy. Does everybody get one? The we love Bear Grooves Grammy. I really like mine. Just a special, like mine. Oh, no, just this a special, special. people. Hold up. This is special. Just a special people. Woo! <laughs> hey, girl, you special. I love a good award, y'all. Uh -huh. yeah, my mic is on. All right. Okay, all it's on the own button. It's, all yours. it's always cool. on. <laughs> this is so, so really Thank you cool. so much, dude. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We thank appreciate you. you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. That was so nice. That was a surprise. Well, Don't put my jewelry on it. <laughs> so, as we can, so thank you so much to our listening audience from all over the globe. Stay tuned to We Love Rare Grooves. We it. give Stay you tuned. great. We bringing it to you. We bringing it to you mm -hmm. with great guests, great stories, great conversation, and most of all, it's for you and the music. It's all about the music. It's all about the music, keeping it alive. And the conversation was great tonight to tell us, hey, we got to keep doing this, man. We really yeah, do. you got to do it. You got to. We got to do it. So please listen to us on our our replays on YouTube, right, Greg? That's right. We'll uh, upload this, and you can catch the uh, show on uh, YouTube. Tell your friends about it. Check it out. And also like us on Facebook. Subscribe to the YouTube page. We need more subscribers. Subscribe. Like us. Like us. But I say, hey, I've picked it up. We got people listening to us in 70 different countries. That's right. So and, we, hot we Atlanta. And, and hot Atlanta. And Atlanta, right? And, and Pittsburgh. And Hawaii. So <laughs> yeah. as we do on We Love Red Groups, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, studios, Ms. Howard. Thank you. Welcome again anytime. We want you to come back. Hey, and don't forget to see her this Friday and, and Saturday, Saturday at the Catalina, Catalina Jazz Group. Club. That's right. 8 o'clock. Showtime. Don't be late. All right. All righty. As we do on We Love Red Groups, thank you, Chris, today. And just say a wonderful adios as we do on We Love, Love Rare, Rare Groove. Same groove. Same groove time. Woo. See you next week. Eight.